how about we say Mary is a brilliant scientist? And for some reason, she's forced to investigate the world from a closed system. The closed system is a black and white room. And in it, there is a black and white television set where she sees the rest of the world. Everything is black and white. She's a scientist that specializes in neurophysiology of vision. And eventually, she's so good that all the physical information that there is to obtain about what goes on when we see ripe tomatoes or the blue sky or every color, anything that has to do with color. And anytime we say terms like green or purple, so on, she, she discovers and she learns all that stuff. She, she knows about the wavelength combinations that stimulate the retina and go through her brain. And she knows about the central nervous system causing lungs to expel air and the vocal cords and the larynx to, you know, move around and stuff. That make us say the sky is blue. Now, the question is, what happens when Mary is released from her black and white prison? and is given, or is given a color television monitor or something like that. Will she learn anything new? She's learned all there is about the physical nature of color and anything that has to do with it. Will she learn anything new by feeling and experiencing color for the first time? I am brought to think and discuss this because of that last video remnants of an existential meltdown. Now with me, let's say before, I accepted that we lived in a deterministic world through my bringing up in physics, bump into each other and things bond, and eventually you have this huge system that is uh, based on physicalism. That there is nothing in the world that is not physical. And it does go with determinism pretty well. The idea of qualia is the idea that there are qualities that are not physical. The, the subjective qualitative properties of experiences. Like how it feels like, for example, beauty or color. I am in a way a Mary. Uh, about accepting determinism, physicalism, blah, the first time in a way, feeling determinism, physicalism, and this Mary is pretty certain that I did not learn anything from feeling it. I don't know, perhaps the new data did, uh, could not bring me to any, to learn anything more. It corroborated with the old data perfectly, and I couldn't get anything more out of it. Maybe I am not smart enough to utilize the new data to learn something new. I don't know, there's a lot of ways you could go with it. But I feel but I feel like I didn't learn anything. So what do you think? Is there something about Mary? Something about Mac? Do you think Mary or I even learned something from the experience? The experience of whatever. Or even you? What do you have to think about that? I am gladly awaiting your comments. You like the shirt? See?